All right, hey physical science class. What we're going to work on really quickly today is a little help with your activity yesterday. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about electric fields and how they relate to other sources of energy. Um, one thing I want you guys to think about, uh, we've already talked about gravity before, and gravity's equation is uh, force of gravity is equal to G constant times mass 1, mass 2, over distance squared. So really if you take a look at this equation, really what we're looking at is two masses that in some way, shape, or form interact with each other. And we know gravity is an attractive force, and so if I've got a mass that's right here and another mass that's right here, they're attracted to, together in some way, shape, or form. Now their attraction, you know, when we take a look at gravity, we think about almost always Earth as compared to us on Earth, right? Just a very, very small dot that's on there. And so most of us just think it's a one-way street where a person's just being attracted to Earth and that's it. In reality, what's happening is both objects are being attracted to each other, but Newton's second law tells us that if we have an object with a very, very large mass, the amount of acceleration they experience is not a lot. That's, that's not a big change for anybody. But really what I'm looking at here is that Gravity is all about two points that are somehow being attracted together. Now let's relate this, and I'll, I'll erase this, but let's relate this to what you guys are learning about right now. And that's field lines, and that's uh, uh, electric fields, and electric energy, and, and things like that. So really what we're talking about is, if I want to figure out the electric force, that equals K constant Q1, Q2, over r squared or d squared. It's really just the same equation. Instead of the mass is what we're talking about is charges, which are represented by these q values. So instead of using the x's, I'm going to use q's. Okay? And so again, the same thing with gravity, where those two masses are attracted together. Well, these two charges, if they happen to be positive and negative, or negative and positive, they're attracted together as well. They actually act in exactly the same way. They're attracted to each other, or in some cases, they are repelled from each other, but they have the exact same type of a relationship where they're attracted or they're repelled from each other. Now, what we're also dealing with is how far they are away from each other. If I have two charges that are really close together, there's a huge attractive or repulsive force. Or if they're really far from each other, there is a very weak attractive or a very weak repulsive force. So how is this related to which activity you guys are doing and how we can talk about how energy is being transformed? Well, if I have a mass, so if I've got a rock that's sitting on top of a cliff, I know that this rock has gravitational potential energy. The reason why that rock has gravitational potential energy is because the rock represents a mass, and then the Earth represents another mass, a much larger mass. And we know that those two things are attracted together. Well, let's change this. And let's say we've got a charge and a charge. If they are attracted or repelled from each other, they also have a potential energy, which we call electric potential energy. So instead of calling it gravitational potential energy, we talk about electric potential energy, where that potential for energy is really based on two things. Thing number one, the size of the charge. Just like with gravity, if I have a large mass, I'm going to end up having a large potential for uh, energy or large gravitational potential energy. So the amount of charge or the amount of mass that helps determine my gravitational potential energy. That's one thing. The second thing is the distance between them. If I have a very large distance, my electric potential energy is actually going to be low. If I have a very small distance, my electric potential energy is going to be very high. Now this is different, a little bit different than um, the, I guess, the uh, gravitational potential energy, but they're very similar in that the two things that affect them are the amount of charge and the distance between those two objects. All right, I'd love to have some sweet sign-off thing. Go Ehawks. Let's go Hawks.